we will see here how to do the setup so that the variables of the simulation software and the variables in the CapServer X can communicate uh, with the folder attached with this example you will find a layout you need to open it and here are the simulation components if you are interested you can select each component go to modeling tab expand the tree and check the behaviors and the properties and go to the operation scripts then you can get an idea how this simulation components are working go to connectivity tab here the sim server have already been defined so i have been working with it but in your case these variables might be here might not be sometimes if you import a layout and just start try to communicate between these and your capture variables they fail so i would suggest you do the connection or each of these ones again and which variables of the simulation needs to be connected which variables of cap server tags this i have already defined here in this bar file so for example let's see a connection of one variable of simulation to server fluid level of tag 2 so it's here so we can delete it and then reconnect it We need to connect. Okay, sometimes it does not refresh, so if you just select unselect, it will appear again. So remember, we just deleted fluid level of tank too. So we go here, it's a property, it's a integer, it's a real value, and here we go to the channel two, which I have defined prefer previously for this example project and let's go to here fluid level tank 2 here selected and there selected here again so we can go up the selected groups and they are updated make sure that the, your cap server is running that the runtime hasn't been it has been running more than two hours if you're using evaluation version in that case you need to from the from this place you have to stop the runtime and start the runtime again and just make sure reinitialize it again Now we will see how to create a new channel and device in cap server and specifically speaking we just saw the communication between the simulation software and cap server now we would see how to set cap server so it can communicate properly with the server which is actually the soft plc hosted in a guest machine and virtual vmware in our case so I would create a new channel. You need to select Siemens TCP IP Ethernet. Yes, and next channel for adapter. As the soft BLC is running in a virtual machine, we have to select this virtual machine. Go and then next and next and next and finish. And here device here I'm using a step 7 1500 for this example and here you need to set the IP address of the virtual machine itself this is not the IP address of the soft PLC this is the IP address of the virtual machine so I would just put something imaginary maybe 45 that is, but remember this needs to be in the same subnet as in host machine virtual machine and the IP address of the 
soft PLC. They need to be all in the same subnet, and subnet means these digits. Okay, next, 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 next. Port number 120102, it's by default, you don't need to change it. If you change it, it won't work. Next, finish. And for your ease, I have already uh, put the tags in a CSV file. So you can import the tags in for your project as well. Open and you see the tags here. Okay, now we are inside the virtual machine and by virtual machine, I mean we are in this part and I would like to show you how to work with Net2 PLC SIM to communicate with the Siemens PLC SIM. And this enables the communication between the Siemens PLC SIM and CAP server and it's a third party and free software. So here we are in virtual machine and let's run this. Okay, we'll do the start search. Load. Load. Start module, finish. Okay, so as we can see, that our Siemens PLC SIM is running and this is the IP address and okay I can close this I can show you research service all right so in the same folder where all the example files are attached you will find this one Net to PLC SIM. You can take help from the help manual here also. And uh, what you need to do is go here, the binary folder, Net to PLC, run it as administrator. Yes. And what task that it should it try to access the port 102? Yes. Okay. Add server. Here you need to select this virtual machine's IP address which you can find here and here is no is detected nothing is detected it's okay you should know the IP address of your device if not you can go to the device configuration and click on this port and it will show you the your IP address which is actually in this case Ethernet and go to the top box you can see this one so 192.168.188.1 okay and in usually in my case it's rack 0 and slot 1 okay and start server and it's running you can also turn this one on while debugging it actually consumes a little bit of memory but just to make sure in the beginning if it's working or not you can if it's working fine you can just close it hi here i would give you a little bit of overview of the plc program so for this example i have selected a siemens s7 1500 PLC and as you can see there is one main program execution block three functions and one data block and here is the data block and yeah and this is the this is the main function which is calling the other two functions time to time which is tank control 2 and tank control 3 and this function 100 underscore tank control underscore 1 uh, it's done by a very simple 
JS uh, instruction, which is we call it the state machine, and it's going through different states, and it's controlling all the three tanks. Uh, okay, so and I'd like to show you the connection between this uh, the PLC sim and the net to PLC sim. Uh, please note here that the net to PLC sim is running. So if it's running, uh, you don't need to uh, stop the server and start the server so that you can uh, start the simulator first. If it's running, just leave it running. It's fine. You can minimize it. And of course, it's always better to compile and then start simulator. Let it uh, turn on. On now, it will find it. Start search. I would like to connect it with this slot so, so I can get into the PLC using the same subnet. So that's why I have selected direct at slot 182, which is this one. I will load and load. Select start module, it will start this module automatically. Okay, so our uh, PLC simulator is running, net to PLC sim is running, and you have a tilt the monitor here. 